Here's a really weird story. Philip Parker is the world's fastest book author. He's only been writing for about five years. And he's written over 100,000 books, Lewis. What do you think? I don't see how that's possible. Well, there's more to this. Let me give you some of the titles of the books he's written. Here's one. The, 20, the 2007 to 2012 Outlook for Bathroom Toilet Brushes and Holders in the United States. It's 677 page long. pages long. It sells for about 500 US dollars. What do you think? I'm confused. Is that a book you would buy? No. Okay. Um, here is another book that he wrote. He wrote, uh, you know what, I'm actually, uh, maybe I misplaced that. That's the type of book that he wrote. So here's what's going on. He's developed an algorithm, basically a writing system. It's a book writing machine, which is fed a recipe for writing a particular genre of book. And it's fed information about, um, you know, the topics and, and certain parameters are set. And then using internet searches and database queries, it writes the book and then the book is published. Now here's the fascinating thing. The books are actually written on demand. So none are actually written until someone requests it. Someone says, I need a book on uh, the change in the length of men's socks during the 80s and 90s in the Middle East. Hmm. And then the algorithm would go in and it would actually generate that book, charge that, you for it, yeah. print it, and send it to you. So he didn't actually write any books. He actually wrote no books, yeah. Uh, that, that, well, this, so actually, let's discuss that. Does this mean, and in other words, who wrote the book? He set up the program that writes the books. Did he not, by proxy, write all of these books? His no. name, his name is the author of the book. But he didn't actually write any of the books. A computer program wrote the books. Natan, what's your thought on this? Uh, I, I think it's like, it's like saying the, uh, the people who founded Google are uh, responsible for all of the content in the searches. Uh, I don't know, it just makes no sense to me. He created a piece of software that does the writing. He's not doing the writing himself. I actually yeah. thought that maybe Stephen King had rented out one of these machines for a weekend, but it turns out he hadn't. Yeah, there was, there was like a family guy joke where Stephen King is in a room and the guy's like, well, what have you got? And he's, Stephen King is like, oh, it's about like a, a lamp, like a spooky lamp that kills people. And the guy in the chair just says, you're not even trying anymore, are you? And he says, okay, how much do you want for it? <laughs> <laughs> I have to kind of agree. Some of, uh, some of Stephen King's work has been a little shoddy. So when we look at the people who have written the highest number of books, should this guy's name not even be on the list? Should there be an asterisk next to his name? What should be the case? Is this like equivalent to using steroids and getting a home run record? I mean, I could see potentially him being uh, like a producer of the book or <laughs> maybe, even, have maybe even an editor producer. or something like that. Interesting. But uh, you can't call yourself the author of this book when, when you had no hand in any of the text in the book. I'm trying to think of a comparable analogy that we could do to kind of expand this. Well, let's look at movies, right? If I write a screenplay by hand, I've clearly written the screenplay and then a movie is produced. So I show up as the writer, so to speak. Okay. Let's say that I develop a program where I know kind of what algorithms work in movies, right? What kind of ideas together. So I put, here's what we need. We need these types of characters. We need, here's a list of different, almost like if it were done as a uh, Mad Libs type of thing. And I press the button and out comes a finished script and a movie is made for that script. Now, I really only wrote the algorithm that wrote the script. Am I not really the writer of that movie? Did I not write that screenplay? Uh, I would say no, you didn't. Natan, what do you think? I would say the credits should say screenplay by the piece of software, software by the name of the person who wrote the software. Interesting. That works. Interesting. Let me know your thoughts on this one. DavidPackman.com, contact us. We'll see what people think. All right. Okay, what else do I need to mention? I need to mention it's tar starting to get cold if you live in a place that has seasons. And it's time to get a David Pakman Show hoodie. They're made from 100% recycled materials. You go to davidpakman.com slash gear, pick the color, pick the size. Or if you're somewhere that's warm year round, get a t-shirt, davidpakman.com slash gear. Let's take a break. We'll be back after this. We'll talk about the uh, UN General Assembly and plenty more. Stay tuned. The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com.